Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this class, I am going to teach you dual basis and we will solve problems basing on dual basis. So let us start the topic. Definition of a basis, let B be a subset of a vector space V, then B is said to be a basis of a V if B first condition linearly independent, second B generates B, square bracketed B is equal to B means generate B. What does it mean? Any element will choose from B can be expressed as a linear combination of elements of B. Now dimension. Dimension of a spectral vector space V is the number of elements present in any basis for B that is called dimension of a vector space. Dual basis let B is equal to alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha when B a basis for B. Let B is equal to alpha 1 alpha 2 dot 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 alpha a n B a basis for B. Then there exists a unique linear function phi i on b for each i such that phi i of i of alpha j is equal to delta i j which is 1 if i is equal to j, 0 if i not equals to j. Then from b we get a set of a distinct linear functions phi 1, phi 2, phi n on b. These are linearly independent and generates B star. So the set B star, which is the set of functions phi 1, phi 2, phi n, form a basis for B star is called dual basis of B. Then let us solve a problem. Now our next question is prove that the set 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 is a basis for B3. Prove. So in order to show that this 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, the vectors form a basis for B3, we have to show the set of vectors are linearly independent and these vectors will it generates B. So let B is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now to show that B on C basis for B3. In order to prove this we have to so that we have to show that the set B is linearly independent and the second thing square bracket will be as we call to B that is B generates V. Let alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 be the scalars such that alpha 1, 1, 0, 0 alpha 2 0 1 0 alpha 3 0 0 1 is equal to 0 so we are taking the linear combination of the given vectors 
Now, alpha 1, 0, 0. 0, alpha 2, 0. 0, 0, alpha 3. We call it 0. So, we are multiplying alpha 1 to this first vector. 1, 0, 0, alpha 2. 0, 1, 0, alpha 3, 0, 0, 1. Now, adding alpha 1 plus 0 plus 0. 0 plus alpha 2 plus 0. 0 plus 0 plus alpha 3 is equal to 0. So this implies this gives up alpha 1 0, alpha 2 0, alpha 3 0. This shows that the given vectors are linearly independent. Now we have to show that the set B generates B to show to show square bracket B is equal to B. Let small b belongs to capital B, here it is B3, then we can write small b is equal to x, y, z. So this can be written as x into 1 0 0 y into 0 1 0 z into 0 0 1. So this is our b. This shows that b can be expressed as linear combination of a linear combination of a elements of a this implies square bracket b is equal to b that is b generates So B generates B3. It means that the given vector space that is given vector of set B forms a basis for B. So this shows that hence B is a basis for B3. Proof. So, our first problem is now completed. Now, let us proceed for the next problem. Our next question is, if u1, u2, u3 be a basis for the vector space B3 of R, then find its dual basis where e1 1 0 0 e2 0 1 0 e3 0 0 1 solution the dual basis will be of the form F1, F2, F3 consists in consists of a three functionals such that F1 of a X, Y, Z 
इज इक्वल टू ए वन एक्स ए टू वाई ए थ्री जेड एफ टू ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड बी वन एक्स बी टू वाई बी थ्री जेड एफ थ्री ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इज इक्वल टू सी वन एक्स सी टू आई सी थ्री जेड हो यार ए आई बी आई सी आई बिलंग्स टू आर और आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री नेक्स्ट We know एफ आई ऑफ एक्स जे इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा आई जे इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ आई नॉट इज इक्वल टू जे इज इक्वल टू वन इफ आई इज इक्वल टू जे बाय डेफिनेशन so f of ij is equal to this much then f1 of e1 is equal to 1 f1 of e2 zero f1 of e3 is equal to zero now now f1 of वन जीरो जीरो इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू ए वन प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन इम्प्लाइज ए वन इज इक्वल टू वन इफ वो वन ऑफ ई टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो वन जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो ए टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो इम्प्लाइज ए टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एफ वन ऑफ ई थ्री दैट इज जीरो जीरो वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो ए थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो So this implies a three is equal to zero. Then then a one of a x y z is equal to a one x b one y c one z. ए वन एक्स ए टू आई ए थ्री जेड विच इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो एफ वन ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स एफ वन ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स इन दिस in this way we get f2 of x y z is equal to y and f3 of x y z is equal to z hence the required dual basis is f1 f2 f3 so we are f1 of x y z is equal to x f2 of 
xyz is equal to y and f3 of xyz is equal to z answer so with this our second problem is now solved let us proceed for the third problem so our third question is v is equal to r cube b is a set of vectors 1 0 1 1 2 1 0 0 1 basis for v then we have to find the dual basis b star for the dual space v solution we have the dual basis b star is equal to f1 f2 f3 such that f1 of x y j is equal to a1 x a2 y a3 z f2 of x y z b1 x b1 y b2 y b3 z and f3 of x y z is equal to c1 x c2 y and we know if i of x j is equal to delta i j this is zero if i not is equal to j one if i is equal to j let alpha 1 is equal to 1 0 0 alpha 2 is equal to 1 to 1 alpha 3 is equal to 0 0 1 so this is alpha j so then f1 of alpha 1 is equal to 1 f 1 of alpha 2 is equal to 0 f 1 of alpha 3 is equal to 0 so this implies This implies if one of one zero one is equal to a one plus zero plus a three, which is equals to one. So this gives us a one plus a three is equal to one. If one of one to one is equal to a one to a two plus a three is equal to zero. So this gives us a one to a two plus a three is equal to zero. If one of zero zero one is equal to zero plus zero plus a3 is equal to 0 implies a3 is equal to 0 so we get a1 a3 0 a1 2 a2 a3 0 and a3 a is equal to 0 so this implies a3 0 means a1 1 a3 0 now putting here 1 2 a 2 is equal to minus 1 so a 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 
So we are getting the values of for A1, A2, A3. Then F1 of XYZ is equal to A1X, A2Y, A3Z. So which is equals to X minus Y by 2 plus 0 means x minus y by 2. So we get f1 of x, y, z is equal to x minus y by 2. Next, f2 of alpha 1 is equal to 0. F2 of alpha 2 is equal to 1. F2 of alpha 3 is equal to 1. So this implies B1 plus 0 plus B3 is equal to 0. That means B1 plus B3 is equal to 0. Now F2 of alpha 2 is equal to 1. That means B1 plus 2B2 plus B3 is equal to 1. F3, F2 of alpha 3 is equal to 0. So this implies 0 plus 0 plus B3 is equal to 0. That means B3 is equal to 0. So then we get B1 is equal to 0, B2 is equal to 1 by 2, B3 is equal to 0. So, F2 of XYZ is equal to B1X, B2Y, B3Z, which is a equals to 0 y by 2 0 that means y by 2 so we get f2 of x y z is equal to y by 2 now let us proceed to find f3 we have f3 of alpha 1 0 F3 of alpha to 0, F3 of alpha 3 is equal to 1. So this implies C1, 0, C3 is equal to 0, and this is C1, 2, C2, C3 is equal to 0, and this is Zero plus zero plus C three is equal to one. So this gives us C one is equal to minus one, C three is equal to one. So here two C two is equal to zero, so C two is equal to zero. Then f of f3 of x, y, z is equal to c1x, c2y, c3z. So which is equals to minus x plus z. Minus x plus z. Hence, the required dual basis is F1, F2, F3, who are F1 is equal to 
x minus y by 2 f2 is equal to y by 2 f3 is equal to minus x plus z answer so with this i have completed the third problem in my next class i shall meet you with a new topic till then goodbye